sure you've all heard the rhetoric. Women can't get high paying jobs in academia or science related fields because we're just dumber than men. We all have to take maternity leave and only care about raising families, which leads to taking time off work, which leads to less production and added expenses and so on and so on. Plus, who would want to work in such a sexist atmosphere dominated by men, right? Governments like our own Alberta NDP even take these suggestions as far as calling for companies listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange to release gender-based data on who's on their boards and who holds executive positions. They offer equality for women grants to address apparent issues that plague women in the workplace. But according to this study done by the National Academy of Science, there's really no truth in suggesting that women can't get jobs due to some kind of sexist bias. Here's the deal. The researchers sent out hypothetical narrative summaries for both female and male candidates for assistant professorships to 371 universities across 50 states to be evaluated by an equal number of male and female tenured faculty members. They also included a variety of lifestyles like single with no kids, married with no kids, single parents and a few others. The results? There was a very strong two to one preference for females in biology, engineering and psychology and an equal preference between men and women in economics. And as far as lifestyle went, female faculty preferred divorced moms over married fathers by over 40%. Male faculty members preferred married men but only by a little over 14% and single women were preferred three times to one by male faculty and four times to one by female faculty. But look at what women are told when it comes to these positions. Here's a headline from Popular Science that states sexism is a problem. And here we're told that there's not enough d diversity in tech workplaces. But there's also an explanation for this. In this study published by the Association for Psychological Science, the problem is that women aren't majoring in STEM subjects and therefore they're not applying for these coveted STEM jobs. So why don't we hear about this? Well, it would ruin the narrative that instead of us all being just people, we should be outraged that this one group of people, women, are being treated unfairly. It creates a false injustice to stir up gloomy news headlines and acts as a great talking point for politicians to gain support. But think about this for a second. It's actually an example of identity politics backfiring to the detriment of these specific groups that the left pretend to champion. Women aren't entering these fields because they're under the false impression that they don't have a chance. And judging by this report, that could be further from the truth. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks so much for watching. Have you signed up for Rebel emails yet? Click the link to the side and sign up today so that you don't miss any of our updates.